Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans were sharply lower on Monday and corn was down after some weekend rainfall in parts of Argentina. Could be too little too late to save some of their crop, but it will help out definitely in some areas. Also, the trade does expect fairly large corn and soybean crops out of Brazil this year as well, and harvest is going pretty good in most areas. Unknown destinations in Japan both bought U.S. corn on Monday, but the overall pace of export inspections for both corn and soybeans continues to be very bearish. And wheat was lower, with Kansas City leading the way down. Weekend rainfall did occur in parts of the U.S. plains, but even if it missed some of the drier areas, the overall fundamental outlook continues to be bearish. The U.S. grows a very small percentage of the world's wheat crop. Live and feeder cattle were sharply lower, watching the distribution of this week's direct cash cattle show list. And at least initially, those ready numbers look larger in most of the major feeding areas, except for Texas. Outside market pressure was also a factor across the commodity markets. Hogs closed lower, cash business was mostly lower during the session, pork was weak at midday, and the trade expects more of the same for much of this week. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.